What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the introduction part of the joins. Correct? Now, what exactly we are going to discuss over here? So over here, we are going to pick one more uh, join or I can say that, no, not one more. This is the first session. So we are going to pick the uh, cross join. Yes, that is the topic which we are going to discuss over here. So over here, we will understand what exactly the cross join is and how exactly it internally works so that is the thing which we are going to discuss so let's begin so guys in order to explain the cross join i need to take help of two tables so that table is employee table and department table okay so these are the two table i will take help now let's understand what exactly the cross join is so guys as i told you the join is used to combine the two tables so let's say for example i am using the cross join and if you want to join the employee table and the department table then what would be the output output would be as you can see on the your screen this will be the output okay now you can question that how exactly this came can you explain me a little bit more so let's understand how exactly this uh, table got formed and how exactly the uh, cross join works internally so let's understand so guys as you can see on the your screen i have three tables on the your screen now one table is the employee table another table is your department table and third table is your nothing but your output table okay now let's understand how exactly exactly that output table get formed or how exactly it get filled okay now over here output table is empty now as you can see on the your screen in the employee table i have few rows and few rows in the department table now if i will join both the table employee table and the department table then what will happen as soon as i trigger the query or as soon as i join both the table then what will happen the pointer will start to pointing to the first row of the employee table as you can see on the your screen highlighted area okay now one row will be get formed as you can see on the your screen the first row of the employee table will connect or will join with the first row of the department table okay and this becomes the output row and this will be shifted to the your output table okay now this is how the first row will get formed now uh, the pointer will move to the uh, next row of the department table not the employee table okay the pointer of the employee table will be as it is there on the first row now the how the second row of the output table will get formed the first row of the employee table and the second row of the uh, your department table so this is this become the second row of the output table okay and if it will keep on uh, joining till the second tables all the rows are got finished okay so as you can see on the your screen this is how the pointers will move okay now once all the rows of the department table will finish the pointer of the your employee table will move to the next row as you can see on the your screen pointer got moved okay now it will compare or it will uh, join the second row of the employee table with the first row of the department table and it will form another row okay and now again the pointer of this department table start to moving to the next row so as you can see on the your screen the pointer got moved from the first row of the department table to the second row of the department table however the pointer of the employee table will be as it is till the all the rows are not got finished in the department table so this is how the output uh, rows will be get formed so it will compare the all the rows of the department table so in short what i can say that the first row of the employee table will join with the all the rows of the uh, department table and it will form the that many rows and again the pointer will move to the next row and next row will be again joined to all the rows of the department table and so on keep on going till the row end in the employee table okay so this is how the cross join works and this is how the output table got formed so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the cross join is now as you can see over here this is the consolidated or the final view of the forming of the table now let's see cross join practical session
so guys now let's see the practical part of the cross join over here first we will see what exactly the cross join is and then later on we will see one of the example of the cross join okay so let's start but before that let me show you the tables which i am going to use in the cross join example so as you can see over here this is the first table which is nothing but your employee table okay over here this is my second table which is nothing but your department table okay now let me show you the content of the employee table so as you can see over here these are the columns available in the employee table and this is the content of the employee table now this is my department table now let me show you the department tables content so as you can see over here these are the columns available in the department table and this is the content of the department table okay now if i will join the department table with the employee table using the cross join then how i can do it i can do it with the help of this query as you can see over here this is the query i will write in order to join the employee table and the department table using the cross join okay so guys now let's understand this query so as you can see over here i have written first select clause which is very simple now over here i have written the from clause over here i have written the employee table which is nothing but your first table and this is my second table okay and if i will write like this then this is called as a cross join okay let me repeat once again what is cross join and how exactly you can write it or how exactly you can combine two tables using the cross join so what you need to do you need to write over here first table and you need to write over here second table okay and in between that you have to give the comma so this is called as a cross join and guys one more thing you have to take care over here you do not need to use the where condition in which we compare the column of the employee table and the column of the department table so that condition should not be in the where condition and if you will use this kind of condition such that we are comparing the column of the employee table and the column of the department table then it is called as a equi join or something else join okay that we will see in the upcoming sessions okay so over here you need to take care of this thing over here you can use simple where condition the, uh, it won't restrict okay now over here you can see this is the order by clause uh, which is not mandatory just for the sake of simplicity i have written over here okay over here you can see this is the e and this is the d which is nothing but your short form of the tables this is the short form of the employee table and this is the short form of the department table and this short form is called as a alias okay so that's it now let me run this query and let's see the output of this query so as you can see over here this is the output of the this query over here you can see 12 rows got retrieved or 12 rows got formed now you can question that how exactly this 12 rows came so guys we have seen one formula which is nothing but your this one so based upon this formula this 12 rows come now you can say again can you explain so let me explain over here so guys as you can see over here uh, we have a over here three rows over here we have a four rows so what my formula says the number of rows in the first table into or multiply with the number of the rows in the second table which is nothing but your total number of rows of the cross join so that is how this 12 rows came okay now let me show you one example so over here we have a three rows over here we have a four rows and this is my second table and this is my first table okay now if i will multiply this three into this four then it will come as a 12 which is nothing but your number of rows in the cross join okay over here i have written same like this you can see 3 into 4 which is nothing but your 12 and 12 is the output of the cross join query okay so this is how the 12 rows got come and i hope you have understood how exactly it came okay
so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the cross join is and if this video helps you then please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos and don't forget to give your feedbacks because your feedback is so valuable and based upon your feedback i can improve my upcoming videos so please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care